Hello everyone, today's episode we're going to talk about another Godzilla movie. It's Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla in 1994. One hour and 48 minute action adventure, released December 10th, 1994 in Japan. Storyline, Godzilla is threatened by two new forces. Mogera, another UN built machine, and Space Godzilla, a beast spawned from Godzilla's particles in space. Directed by Kenosho Yamashita, Takeo Okawa, and Kazuki Omori. Now, if you remember when I reviewed Godzilla and Mothra, The Battle for Earth in 1992, at the end of the film, Batra and Mothra was carrying Godzilla to the ocean. And Batra died, but Mothra was went into space to try and stop a meteor from crashing on Earth. Well, there was Godzilla particles on Mothra when Mothra went into space. So that's how Space Godzilla was created. Now, I know you're saying, how stupid and how strange can it be? Well, if you remember correctly, didn't Jason go to space? That's exactly right. Didn't the Leprechaun go to space? That's correct. This is way back in the 90s, and it's no different. It turns out that, if you remember correctly, Mothra has two fairies that would sing and um, would bring Mothra to them. You know, because Mothra is the mother of Earth. If Earth is being in danger, you know, these fairies come to remind the humans that the Earth can possibly be destroyed. So that's how they were warned about Space Godzilla coming to Earth. It's pretty cool how it's, how it's intertwined with Mothra and with the, the fairies. So we have a girl in here that's uh, telepathic, and she could talk to the fairies. So the fairies was guiding her. Now, what I find interesting with these movies is they're always trying to kill Godzilla. Knowing that there's a space Godzilla that is very dangerous, you know, it's like they're trying to kill Godzilla. Well, don't you think by killing Godzilla, that's going to put you in more danger having to deal with space Godzilla? That's because they built another machine. If you remember the other movies, the Mecha Godzilla, which didn't quite work out very well. Well, this one is called Mogera. Now, this is a little bit different machine. Obviously, it can fly it can, and do, you know, like the, uh, it can stand up and however. So, you have Godzilla, you have Mogera, and you have Space Godzilla. So, uh, somebody has to lose. Now, what I find, again, really frustrating is they're shooting at Godzilla while Godzilla is fighting the Space Godzilla. I'm thinking... Dumb. So eventually they wake up and smell the coffee. And, you know, they start attacking the space Godzilla. And, of course, Godzilla is also trying to help them by defeating this space Godzilla. So you have a lot of, of the intertwine of, is he good? Is he bad? Do you want to kill him or not kill him? They finally do come to their senses, obviously, that... Um, that Godzilla does win the battle and kills Space Godzilla. So the ones that wanted Godzilla dead decided, you know what, he's not so bad after all. And then Godzilla just walks away into the ocean like he always does. I like these Japanese films. I really do. Especially the early 90s stuff. Um, it's very, very, very uh, high made. Shot very well. The, the funky storylines, I can tell you that. But I can't help it. I'm in a mood. I'm watching one right now called Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. That came out, I think, in 93. So I kind of missed a year, but I'm going to back it up. I'll be reviewing that one shortly. Now, in that movie, some of the stuff from this movie is coming from that movie. So it's like intertwined, all of them. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. Again, folks, we're talking about the early 90s. It can seem a little corny, um, but that doesn't bother me because, you know, I like Godzilla. 
regardless of the 60s version, the 50s version, the 70s version, 90s version. Now, when you come to today's Godzilla, obviously it's more mean, more, you know, different than it was for the Japanese versions of Godzilla. But again, Space Godzilla was like Godzilla with these funky horns on him, you know. So Godzilla was trying to suck all the energy from this Space Godzilla to destroy it. And of course he wins. Everyone's happy. Of course the town gets destroyed as usual. I kind of find that amazing how towns in Japan constantly get... Godzilla walks through buildings just to get to the Space Godzilla. But it's a fun little film. So definitely check it out. I enjoyed it. Um, if I can find it, I'll post a movie below my review. But that being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 7.5 out of 10, above average. Again, I'm a big Godzilla fan, and I love Mothra, and uh, so forth. There was an appearance by the son of Godzilla. Cute little bugger. He's in the, on the island, so you can check him out too. It was kind of funny, though. They had him trying to... You know, do what Godzilla does, the the flames out of his mouth, and he couldn't quite do it. But, yeah, so definitely check it out. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm Addy.